I made it myself. Hey, my 50 Licious fam, I decided to come on and make a video dealing with what everybody's talking about and that has affected all of our lives, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And that's the coronavirus or COVID-19 or new coronavirus, however they're calling it, but everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. I made these masks. Now, our government and the officials are saying to not buy masks but there's no reason why you cannot protect yourself if you want to and this mask I made from an old shirt just an old dress shirt and this one I made from an old t-shirt so the only thing that you'll have to get unless you're super resourceful and find some elastic from another garment is to get this from a store I got this from Joann's, but there's stores all over that sell this, and I assure you, this is not selling out. So, if you wanna just stick around, I'm gonna show you how. If you have a sewing machine, that's great. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand sew. Here are the things that you're gonna to need to make your own upcycled face mask. First, look around your house and see what kind of t-shirts you have that are old that you maybe would think about discarding or even a dress shirt. I made my face mask one from each of both materials to see how they would both work and I like the dress shirt best. You'll also need some type of elastic. I bought some from Joann's that was one quarter of an inch wide. Be sure to get thin elastic to make your um, straps to hold it snugly on your face. You'll also need a sewing machine if you know how to sew or if you want to hand sew you can have a needle and thread. You'll need a ruler so that you can measure everything out and some chalk or something to write on the fabric with some various marks to make the pleats. That's all you need. So let's get started. Okay so I cut my fabric from the shirt because we're using existing materials. I didn't cut it very straight, which proves that you don't have to be a perfect sewer um, or cutter. So this is seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches square going all the way around. Don't even look at that rough edge, but that's not going to matter because we're going to sew it and turn it. Now I've purposefully used pink thread so you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing a very small seam allowance. I'm gonna start here sewing, back it up. That's how you do when you first start. You gotta reinforce that seam. Make this a little bit faster. I'm gonna sew up. I'm gonna leave one in a very small opening just for turning. Do people know what turning mean? I don't. Uh -oh. I used a different color thread just so you could see. I would normally do matching thread, but it really doesn't matter for this because you're not gonna see this part. This is gonna be on the inside. So let's turn it. So I sewed up all the sides except for a very small, tiny opening. And this is what we call, we're turning it. We're turning this inside out, turning it inside out, turning it. There's my chalk marks. Turning it inside out. So when you do that, then you don't have those rough edges to look at. You can also put the elastic in the corners before you do this. You can use a tool or something to really get the um, corners out. You know how you put a tool in there? Some people do a pencil or something like that. I'm just gonna do it with my fingers. But anyway, you have it like this. Still got a couple corners. But this is good enough, a couple corners. Of course, my chalk mark can wipe, can wipe off. This is what I was using to measure. People who so know about that. Um, okay, this is a little bit tricky, but you see the marks? So I did it an inch did them an inch apart. So you're gonna take it 
because they're each an inch, you're gonna take it and you fold it like that. Fold it to the so you'll be it'll be to the third mark so that they're each an inch long. You're gonna fold it and get to that get to this last mark. So when you get done, it's gonna look like this. There'll only be three. Even though I don't know why it looks like it should be more than that. But it'll only be three. Now, after you've I've ironed it, look how nice. Look how much better it goes when it's ironed. You can see the pleats that I've done right here. Now it's time to attach the elastic. This is seven and one half inches long. This is quarter of an inch elastic. Maybe there's another way to um, put some elastic on it from some reusable materials. Hadn't thought of it. I'm gonna attach it here and attach the other end over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you're gonna run over it a couple times so you can make sure that it is closed. And again, I'm using thread that is contrasting so you can really, really see it. Enjoying this video? Well, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you'll be alerted of all my new videos. Thank you. Again, I'm about to sew the elastic onto the back side of my upcycled face mask. And I'm gonna make sure that I backstitch real good. So I've sewn it to, sewn it to one side. Now I'm gonna sew it to this side and do that again on the other end. Okay, now I've got my elastic sewn to both ends. See, really good, thanks to this bright pink colored thread. Now it's time to sew down these pleats. And that's gonna give extra reinforcement to the elastic as well. So here we go with that. Get that top stitching going. I love the sound of my stitch. Get it down really good. Now I'm gonna do the other side and come back with the finished product. Okay, I just used the same technique to do, this is made out of t-shirt material. The only issue is it was a bit wonky when doing the pleats and trying to iron it. You know, because it's a t-shirt, it didn't iron as easy. These did not take that long to make. I think it took me longer to figure out the pleating situation than it did to make the actual mask. I didn't try this one on, but I'm gonna put this one on on camera. I like the pleats to be facing down. This one just came out a little bit bigger, but it's still comfortable, still covers up everything. I'm still talking, can you hear me? I know it sounds really muffled. Hand sewing, hand sewing, hand sewing, hand sewing, or using your sewing machine. I hope you found this video useful. I hope that you'll make these for your loved ones or for people in your area or in your neighborhood who might want to wear a face mask or feel more comfortable with a face mask or maybe their immune system is already low and they wanna wear one or maybe you're healthy and you wanna not catch something from somebody else. You wanna give yourself an extra layer of protection. This is how you can do it.